President Akufuado, who is just about touching down in Ghana about now, has been uh, in a very busy week. Uh, he's been with the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, the Honorable Abu Jinapo, and they have signed a few things. We have received the information and the document of what has happened. We'll show it to you. Uh, it has a lot to do with Ghana gaining traction uh, for our, our compliance with the greening policy of the world. Of course, we had the president talk about the hydrocarbon issue, which is another matter. But in terms of the greening policy of the world, because of the tree planting that, uh, that has been done, um, because of the tree planting that has been done and has been initiated by the Minister for Land and Natural Resources, the Honorable Samuel Abujinapo, is also Member of Parliament for the Domongo constituency. Uh, because of that, Ghana is gaining traction and we are about to access some important financing to help us uh, sustain our environment as a country and to help us lead the environmental sustainability of many African countries in West Africa and all over Africa. I will show you that on the touch screen in a minute. All right, so let's begin. Um, let's begin with, uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to the law school matters. I know that uh, people are very interested in that one. And uh, Dr. H.S. Kanko will join me on the touch screen as well. But you can see uh, behind me, uh, this is the achievement of um, uh, the, the Ghana in, in, in Scotland. Uh, so these are uh, some of the international people who are part of it. In the center here, you can see uh, uh, Abdullah Jinapo, Samuel Abdullah Jinapo, the member of parliament for Damango uh, constituency, and also the Honorable Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. Uh, these are also some... This is when he was speaking to, at the event in, in, the, in Glasgow on behalf of Ghana. So let's, let's deal with this. So these are... Uh, this is the, the beautiful time. That's John Kerry, by the way. John Kerry is a former presidential candidate uh, of the Democratic Party of the United States. John Kerry was candidate, I believe, in 2004 uh, when President Bush was looking for his second term. Uh, John Kerry was nominated by, by, the, um, the, by the Democrats to run the election. John Kerry's uh, particular political significance is that he's the one who gave Barack Obama the platform in that uh, DNC in 2004, where Barack Obama made the famous uh, statement that caught the attention of the American politicals. Barack Obama said that we are, we are neither red states nor blue states, but we are the United States of America. That's what set the Obama agenda. And after that, he wrote his book, Dreams for My Father, and he wrote his book, um, uh, The Audacity of Hope. And then Obama became a phenomenon. He ran for the Democratic election, first time, first time senator, first time candidate, and he got elected. And people believe that Barack Obama's godfather is this man here, John Kerry. Uh, John Kerry shares the platform with uh, our Honorable Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Abu Jinapa, over there in Scotland. So what are the details? It's here. It says, Ghana, through the efforts of uh, H.E., the President, Anado Danko Akufuado, and the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Honorable Samuel A. Jinapo, has signed onto the LEAF coalition as the, the LEAF is, a, I will get to the details of the LEAF in a minute. Coalition at the United Nations Climate Change Conference uh, on the 26th of, uh, of COP26 on Wednesday, 3rd November 2021. Uh, it goes on, the country, which is Ghana, has been registered under the art trees, uh, which will, by this sign-in, generate arts credits to comply with the LEAF and also and also more generally participate in carbon markets. Okay. In a statement at the signing ceremony, the minister said the climate crisis is getting worse by the day and therefore asked that robust action and a concerted effort are taken to reverse the negative trend. Speaking at the gathering ceremony, the Honorable Minister declared that the government of Ghana is ready to work with the coalition to invest in reduced deforestation, aggressive afforestation, and sustainable rural development. It goes on, it says, in view of Ghana's dedication to see to the realization of the climate change agenda, the minister also disclosed some initiatives the country has embarked upon uh, through the Akufuado government to restore Ghana's forest cover. He said, we, quote, we in Ghana have begun an aggressive a forestation program aimed at restoring our lost forest cover and are also embarking on efforts to reclaim our degraded lands. He said, the quotation continues, we have declared 11th June each year as Green Ghana Day, where all citizens and foreigners living in Ghana are encouraged to plant at least one tree. He, says, adding, uh, he said, adding that 
In the coming year, earnest preparations are being made for the country to plant at least 20 million trees on Green Ghana Day. And all this is to inculcate in Ghanaians the culture of tree planting as a means of restoring the lost forest cover and to contribute to the reduction in emissions. He noted the importance of this leaf coalition, saying that government alone cannot raise the finance needed to reverse the clim climate crisis. This is why the leaf coalition is so crucial to our fight against climate change. Honorable Jinapo reiterated President's commitment to meet the climate change target. He said the commitment of the President Akufuado and his government to lead Ghana in contributing to the global efforts to come to grips with the existential crisis of climate change is total and unwavering. The minister expresses gratitude to the member states of the UN, especially to the United States, the United Kingdom, and Norway for coming together to launch such an all-important initiative, unquote. A lowering emissions acceleration forest finance, that's LEAF, is a lowering emissions accelerating forest finance coalition is a voluntary global coalition bringing together companies and governments to provide finance for tropical and subtropical forest conservation commensurate with the scale of the climate change challenge. As part of efforts to protect tropical and subtropical forests, a group of governments and leading companies at the Leaders' Summit on Climate in April 2021 launched the Lowering Emissions by Accelerating Forest Finance Coalition as an ambitious new public-private initiative to accelerate climate action by providing results-based finance to countries committed to protecting their tropical forest. LEAF Coalition aims to mobilize at least one billion United States dollars in financing to support tropical and subtropical jurisdictions in making substantial reduction in their emissions from deforestation. Now, that's the good story here. Uh, our Minister for Lands achieved this in, the, in, in, in England because by the time this happened, he had already launched the 11 June uh, Green Ghana Day project. So uh, that's, uh, that's, that's something good that's coming out of Scotland. I understand that uh, the entourage that left uh, Ghana for the event have arrived uh, just an hour ago or so around this time. And we congratulate them for such an initiative. It will be important uh, for Ghana to be able to access some of the 1 billion United States dollars uh, to, to reorganize our forests because as the...